What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer and welcome to another video. So while we're patiently waiting for the patch that's coming out here in about 42 minutes, uh, I wanted to pop in and review um, and put Surtir on the map. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about this monster's particular abilities and whether or not you should recycle, reduce, or keep this monster in your box. So this particular unit is going to be in the Hall of Heroes this weekend, and, I sure, and I'm sure a lot of you guys um, are wondering if you should pick up this particular unit. So let's take a minute to talk about Surtir. here. So initially the Barbaric Kings used to be garbage, uh, but then recently, after two updates, uh, they first updated all of the Barbaric King stuns ability. Um, they increased the percentage rate, uh, which at first was not enough, so they added little perks to each of the individual Barb Kings, which has made them a very, very, very viable unit. So if you guys out there are looking for a particular fire damage unit, if you have a lack thereof, like obviously if you already have Trevor or units like that, um, then this unit uh, is not going to be necessary for you guys to farm. If you guys are looking for a fire damage unit who has a little bit of utility, this unit can be the one for you. So let's look at his skills. So his first skill, he attacks the enemy twice with an axe and inflicts continuous damage uh, with a 50% chance for each, each attack, which is pretty basic. So where he starts to shine is Axe of Punishment, where he throws an axe at all enemies and stuns them for one turn with a 40% chance for each attack. Um, now this particular unit, before we go any further, has very low cooldowns on all of his skills. Okay, So his third skill strikes the enemy with an axe if the target has less than 50% HP. The damage is increased by 50%. When this attack is on cooldown, his attack speed increases and he recovers 10% of his HP every single turn. Okay, So, this is where the third skill is where these units um, particularly shine. Now, with the Barb King having four turn cooldown on both skill 3 and skill 2, that means that will let you know right out the gate that those skills will go down uh, another turn. So, what you're looking at is three turn cooldowns for both skill 2 and skill 3. Um, so, if you're going to get this unit, uh, which if you do get him, it wouldn't be a wasted investment. Um, I would definitely look at look into ruining this unit violent, okay? Uh, violent blade, violent revenge, however you want to do this, and really maximizing on uh, his efficiency. Uh, now, when you're building this unit, since he's coming with the guild uh, leader skill, that's letting you guys know that his primary focus is going to be guild battle. Uh, my heaviest hit with this unit on my main account, I landed a, a 35k hit, um, and uh, when we were on stream, we were talking about Sir Tier, uh, somebody else was saying that the biggest hit that they've seen was uh, closer to 80,000, uh, just because his third skill, if the enemy's HP is um, lower than 50%, he does 50% more damage. Uh, add that with a buffing unit and a unit that breaks defense, and you have one hell of a damage dealer. Now, in order to make this unit effective, though, guys, he's going to need to have some speed on him, either probably, most likely, through substats or supported by a unit that uh, buffs speed, specifically like Bernard or an attack bar increaser like Vertihil. Um, so that's something that you guys can look at um, when building this particular unit. Um, so he's going to be one of those units that are, that are teetering on good... Um, well, not really good, but uh, farmable or not farmable. Uh, it's not going to hurt you if you don't farm them, um, and it's not going to hurt you if you do. Uh, but that's up to you and your box to really decide what you're going to do uh, when the Hall of Heroes comes out. So, again, guys, Surtier can be good. So what do you do if you run into this particular unit in the arena? Um, if you run into Surtier in the arena or guild battle, uh, your biggest concern is honestly just to kill him. Uh, you're going to want to get rid of him quickly. Uh, if ruined correctly, he can deal a lot of damage very, very quickly to any one of your team members. Um, so keep that in mind and uh, make sure that if you do run into him, obviously counter with water or another fire unit. And if his he does manage to get a stun off, um, let's say paired with... <laughs> with a violent proc, uh, you could be in some trouble if your team falls victim to defense break. So make sure that you get rid of this unit very quickly uh, so you don't have to deal with any extra BS that will allow the rest of his team to annihilate you. So uh, with that being said, guys, uh, this unit is, I'm going to rule 
Um, he's he's balanced. So if you get if you need a fire unit, I would say definitely go and get this unit this weekend. Uh, or if you need food for your other barb kings, if you don't, however, if you don't farm this unit or if you don't eat fodder, it's not going to hurt you if you pass this current Hall of Heroes up. Um, this is one of the better Hall of Heroes in terms of if you need a damage unit. Um, he's not utterly useless like a lot of the Hall of Heroes that, uh, or Hall of Zeros that come to us provides for us. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more insight into this unit and what he can do for you in terms of your box and help you guys along the way. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, hope to see you guys soon if you guys are up. Uh, we're going to be streaming. Well, we're still streaming. And uh, we'll be covering, uh, doing live coverage of the, uh, the patch that's happening here in 36 minutes. So hope to see you guys there. If not, we will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.